What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. It's been an interesting weekend. Uh, a lot of YouTube subscribers, a lot of YouTube views, and a lot of people reaching out to me over the last few days. Last Friday I posted a video of the, uh, the, the accident that happened in front of us on the highway. And I believe that video hit just about 10 million views and like 2 million likes within like a time span of like 36 hours uh, before TikTok took it down and removed it for violating community guidelines. So that was interesting, but I've gotten a lot of messages um, via Instagram and a lot of people are asking me, do I have any tips for beginners, tips and tricks to riding a bike, how to ride a motorcycle, what kind of bike somebody should get, things of that sort. Um, so today, being that that was the most asked question and I have responded to most of those people, I figured it would only be appropriate to go out and record a video. Watch this car right here, cut out in front of me. Anyways, so today we're going to kind of go over what riding a motorcycle is like, things you should look for, um, what you need to know about a motorcycle. We'll talk. You also want to take a look to see if your state or your area, wherever you live, has some sort of motorcycle safety course, um, usually referred to as the MSF, and basically um, it's kind of like a, I think it's like what I did for my class was four hours in the classroom or three hours in a classroom going over techniques, motorcycles, things you need to know, things you need to do, um, and then there was two five-hour sessions on the weekend during the day on Saturday and Sunday, and then at the very end of it, you have a test. If you pass that test, you get your motorcycle endorsement and or also known as your motorcycle license. All right, we got a parking lot we can practice in. Okay, so now that we have a parking lot to somewhat practice in, it's not um, as large as I want it to be, ideally, but uh, we'll make it work for the uh, for this video, for the purpose of this video, should I say. Anyways, on a motorcycle, I'm currently riding a 2006 Yamaha R6. This is a 600cc motorcycle. 600cc um, standing for cubic centimeters? Question mark? I, I don't really know. 600cc, it's a pretty quick bike. There are bikes out there that are faster, and there are bikes out there that are slower. Um, this bike is built to be a race bike. This bike is built to be on a racetrack, which I took it to the track this weekend and was on the racetrack with it. Um, but I also do ride out on the street a lot. Anyways, what I kind of want to go over with you guys is some of the main components that you'll see on any and every motorcycle. When you get on the bike, you'll sit on it like so. Your feet will be down low, holding yourself up. You'll notice some controls up here. Number one, you got your key, your on and off switch. This is your kill switch. So technically, if I flip the key to the on position, you see the tachometer kind of flips up. I flip my kill switch down here. I pull the clutch in because the bike is in gear. And then basically, now that my kickstand is up, I can start the bike. Now all I have to do to kill the bike, turn it off, is flip that button and you're good to go. I'm gonna put the kickstand back down now. A lot of bikes you'll notice if you're in gear, they will not start if the kickstand is down. And that's just a safety precaution. So now what we can take a look at is the right side of the bike. This is my throttle. This is basically what I'm going to use to rotate and twist and accelerate the bike. This is the front brake right here. You see my fingers on this front brake? The front brake produces, or should I say, is about... 70% of the stopping power that your bike has with your rear brake being down here where my right foot is you can see I push that that, that provides about 30% stopping power to the bike on the other side on the left hand side here you have just a regular handlebar and then you have your clutch this is your clutch lever this is how you control what gear your bike goes into so now that we kind of gone over the components of the handlebars and kind of what's attached and everything about the front kind of dash of the the bike 
what we'll do here now is we'll come down and we'll go over the left and the right side of the bike. So we're going to start off here on the left side. Here, obviously I have my foot peg and this is going to be my shift lever here. So I'm going to see if I can get like a diagram that I can put up kind of next to the shift lever here to kind of help explain the gears a little bit better. But basically all the way down is going to be first gear. From first gear, a half click up will put your bike into neutral. If you go the other half click up, you'll go into second, go up again to third, go up again to fourth, go up again to fifth, and then go up again to sixth. Now, bear in mind, you're going to be using your clutch when you're shifting. Same thing, clutch in from six down to five, down to four, down to three, down to two, and then a full click all the way down to one, or if you were in second gear, you would go a half click into neutral. Like I said, I know it's a lot of information. You might have to go back and watch it a couple times. I'm gonna try to throw a diagram up here that will help kind of show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. Um, and also I think this is a good moment to mention as well. I know there's a lot of videos out there that show you how to ride a motorcycle and go over sport bikes and things of that sort. Um, this is my version. Um, a lot of people have been asking me tips and tricks for beginners as I mentioned earlier and I figured I would go over it um, my way or kind of the way that I learned. So we're going to do just that. So now we'll head over to the right side of the motorcycle. This is where my right foot will be on that right peg and this is my rear brake. One thing about the rear brake is you'll learn in the motorcycle safety course. This has a specific use at specific times. Things like if you're in gravel, if you're in grass, sand, things of that sort, you don't want to use that front brake at all because what happens is when you use that front brake, all of the weight of the bike shifts down on the forks here. Your suspension shifts down and goes downwards, which will cause that front tire to like lose control or basically just dive the bike down into the ground and then you end up dropping your bike. You don't want to do that. Um, so you will learn, and this is why I recommend that MSF, the Motorcycle Safety Course, to basically um, take that and learn. It's $190, I think it was, is what I paid. And it might be you know, a lot of money to some of y'all, but think about it, when you're on a bike, $190 invested is not anything in comparison to your life. So anyways, back to what I was saying, right foot peg and your right brake here. So basically, we're going to go ahead and get on the bike now, and I'm going to show you guys how to get into first gear, have the bike from a complete stop, and then get the bike rolling and moving. So for the time being, we're going to go ahead and keep the kickstand down. Here, once the bike is on, we're going to put it all the way down to the first gear, and I'll do that in just a moment to show you guys. And then uh, pay attention to my left hand using the clutch and pay attention to my right hand using just a little bit of throttle. As you slowly release the clutch, you can see here, you're slowly going to release the clutch. The bike will start to move. When you do that, you have to give just a little bit of gas. You have to give just a little bit of throttle. And what that will allow you to do is get the bike moving in first gear without stalling the bike. So what I'm going to show you is something that you guys will probably deal with a lot when you're first starting out is what we call stalling the bike. I'm going to flip the bike up into neutral for the time being. We're going to go ahead and start it. Now that the bike is started, what I'll do here, first and foremost, I'm in neutral. My hands don't have to be on the bike because the bike is in neutral, it's not in gear. Now I'm going to take my hand. I'm going to close this up too so you can hear me better. I'm going to pull the clutch in here. The clutch is all the way, the bar is all the way to the handlebar. I'm going to look down here and I'm gonna push that, sh that shift lever down. Now I'm currently in first gear. I can have my hand over here, but if I let go of this clutch, the bike's just gonna jump forward and it's not gonna engage and go into first. So what you have to do is start the bike up. It's called the friction point. And when you slowly let off the clutch here, you're gonna start moving. My hand's not even on the throttle because I slowly let the clutch out. Now you can give it gas 
and you can let your hand off the, the clutch entirely once the bike gets moving. It's, uh, it's something that you have to play with a lot. And w another positive of the MSF is they will have motorcycles there for you guys to use, to practice, and to learn on. So once again, I'm still in first gear. I'm going to slowly let off the clutch, other hand off, and the bike is moving. You see how I still kind of have the clutch pulled in? As the bike's moving, slowly and slowly let off the clutch, and now it's completely gone. The bike is moving, and my hand's not even on the gas. So that is how you get the bike to start moving when you're in first gear. So now anytime that you come up to a red light, anytime you come up to a stop sign, you gotta come to a complete stop. You have to pull the clutch in, and then pull the brake in. And this is that right brake that I was talking about right here. If you don't pull that clutch in, while pulling that brake in, your bike will stall. And I will show you guys right now. So same, time, same thing, we're gonna let off with the clutch nice and slow. The bike's gonna go by itself, and we'll wrap around. And what happens is, let's say, this blue part of the, of the parking lot, I gotta stop. I pulled the brake in, but I didn't pull the clutch in. Now the bike is just gonna die out because the clutch isn't pulled in and the clutch can't catch to keep it in gear. So, clutch in, start the bike, slowly let off the clutch, give it just a little bit of gas, and you're good to go. So now that we kind of address that, we can get out of the parking lot and I'll kind of show you more in like a real world scenario what it will look like and how to confidently come to a stop sign and be able to take off right away. So I'm going to come to a complete stop, clutch in, brake is pulled. You can give it a little bit of gas, you can hear it, let go of the clutch. Now you go. He's still in first gear. Well, Kevin, how do you take first gear and get into second gear? In order to do that, it's very simple. Kind of the same thing, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your hand on the clutch, you'll pull the clutch in. As soon as you pull that clutch in, you're going to take your hand off, uh, you don't have to take your hand off the throttle, but you're going to release the throttle and let it go back to its normal position where it would normally sit if you weren't applying any pressure to the throttle to feel the bike. And that looks like this. Clutch in, shift lever up, hit it off the throttle, clutch out. Now we are successfully in second gear. And I Okay, so now that we're going, we're in first gear and we're, we're riding, as I go faster, you're gonna hear the bike get louder. And that's because you've got to shift up a second. And then once you hit enough RPMs and enough, you know, a high enough speed in second, then you've got to shift up the third, shift up the fourth, fifth, sixth, so on and so forth. So in order to do that, basically what you have to do is your shift lever down here, my foot's gonna go right up underneath it. And when I pull the clutch in, I'm gonna let my hand off the throttle all the way. And then I'm gonna pull the, the clutch lever up. So I'm gonna show you guys right now. We're gonna come up to the stop sign in first gear here. Pull the clutch in, pull the brakes in. We're sitting in first gear. We're gonna slowly let the clutch out. A little bit of throttle. Now we're moving. I'm gonna try to make it slow, a slow process for you guys here. Clutch in, sh shift lever up, hand off the throttle, release the clutch, and now you're in second gear. Same thing, clutch in, shift lever up, release the clutch, you're now in third. So it's a few step process. Few step process. So currently, same thing, we're right here in first gear. All we're gonna do is pull the clutch in, shift up, let go of the clutch, while releasing the throttle, letting it sit back to its normal position, and we're good to go. So now, I've come to a stop sign, clutch is in, I pulled the brake, I'm gonna let go of the brake, I'm not gonna go anywhere because I'm on a flat surface. But now, it's gonna be much harder for me to take off because I haven't shifted back down to first. Currently, I know that I'm in second gear, so my clutch is in, and all I'm gonna do is step on the little shift lever here, and now I'm in first gear. So in order to take off again, same thing, slowly release this clutch here, 
give a little bit of gas, and you're moving. And before you know it, you'll be able to shift, 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 downshift, and now I'm all the way back. I went up to fourth, and now I'm all the way back down to first. I'm doing my best to try to explain it. I understand that uh, I may not have all the angles because I still do got to pay attention to what's in front of me when I'm driving. However, I'm trying to do the best I can to explain this. So pull out one more time. Clutch in, hand off the throttle, and it's literally just letting your throttle reset and shift up. Once again, my hand is currently kind of tilted on the throttle. Clutch in, let the throttle reset, shift up. Now we're in gear. Very simple process. Guys, if you have any questions at all, if you want me to make a follow-up video to maybe go uh, more in depth or into more detail on how to ride a motorcycle or ride a sports bike or honestly any bike of that matter, 90% of the bikes out there, you're gonna drive them just like I showed you or just like any other video on YouTube that you type in, how to ride a motorcycle will show you. It's gonna do it for this video, guys. Um, thank you guys for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop your questions in the comments down below. Uh, I will do my absolute best to get back to you guys and answer any questions that you guys have. Like I said, if you guys want me to make another video kind of going more into detail and things that you need to do and things you need to look for, tips and tricks and things of that sort, um, I probably will end up having a follow-up video here shortly. So too, before you go, my Instagram and my Twitter uh, will be linked down below in the description if you guys want to follow me on social media. Um, I do live stream video games, so on Twitter I do, you know, do my going live tweets, I got pictures of my dog, pictures of the motorcycle, videos, clips, um, and then my Instagram kind of the same thing. On my stories I try to share my day-to-day -day life or kind of what we're doing. Um, I also try to uh, kind of include you guys in when I do the track days, pictures of the bikes, um, cool gaming clips that I hit and things of that sort. And uh, yeah, basically that's about it. So like I said, Instagram and Twitter down below in the description. If you guys have any questions, feel free to DM me on either of those social media platforms as well. Um, as I try to stay very active and I try to interact with my audience to the best of my abilities. Um, I am I do work a full-time job as well, so I am a very, very, very busy person between working full-time, riding, filming videos, editing videos, editing clips, posting clips, streaming, playing competitively, things of that sort. I got so much going on in life, but um, in between all those, I do my best to go through my Twitter DMs and my Instagram DMs, um, and I try to get back to y'all uh, and interact with you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please drop a like. If you guys didn't like the video, please tell me what you didn't like about it, so that way I can fix it, and we have a, video, a better video next time. Bye.